Hi and welcome to the VATS in Churches e-learning program for cleaning churches. This course will give you an overview of cleaning techniques that will help you to look after your church and clean in a way that will negatively impact items of heritage significance. Historic textiles typically include altar cloths, kneelers, curtains, vestments, carpets, rugs and a host of furniture. Horizontal surfaces are the most visible areas for a build-up of dust and dirt particles. It's important to be methodical when cleaning textiles. A toolkit for cleaning textiles should include gloves, dust mask, magnifying glass, vacuum, muslin or nylon mesh, paper sheets, absorbent towel and tweezers. It is important to spread all the textiles before cleaning to assess the condition. If there's any damage, such as loose fringes, missing bed work or tears to the fabric, this needs to be approached separately as that's the discovery of mould. All damage information should be logged into the object condition and care document. You should then contact a professional conservator for more advice. Undamaged textiles can be cleaned with a low suction vacuum cleaner. It's good practice to test a small area first Covering the vacuum nozzle with a piece of muslin cloth, pop sock or a pair of ties will help you discover how much dust is deposited on the fabric and tell you if the textile might be too fragile to vacuum. If the test captures any loose fibres, it is best to stop and seek further advice. Additional information and further cleaning methods can be found in the cleaning guidelines for churches with bats booklet. When cleaning with bats in residence, it's important to remove droppings and urine deposits when found to reduce possible deterioration to the fibres. For droppings, use a sheet of paper or card as close to the affected areas as possible. Using a brush, carefully lift and move the droppings into the paper and dispose. For urine, you discover early the priority is to absorb as much of the liquid as possible by dabbing with an absorbent cloth or heavy-duty paper towel. Follow with a clean absorbent towel, place over the area and leave to rest until dry. It's not advised to rub the affected area as this works the urine further into the fibres. Remember to wear nitrile gloves and a mask when cleaning after baths and always wash hands after completing any cleaning. Further information, general cleaning guidelines and additional resources can be found in our companion booklet, Cleaning Guidelines for Churches with Bats.